Hello everybody, welcome back to this part two of two videos that I'm going to film in my actual wardrobe. Just clearing out everything from this room and really having a lovely new year fresh start. I've already done part one like I say and I've cleared out this closet right here and this one right here. So in the first one we're talking like blouses, shirts, lightweight cashmere knits, t-shirts and bodies. And then in this one we have blazers as well as knitwear. So I've already done those two in part one. So if you want to kind of see my entire clothing collection from start to finish, I am pretty much doing that in these videos. <laughs> I'm literally going in such depth showing you what I kind of love, what I'm tidying up as I reorganise it, but also pulling out things that I haven't worn and that I'm kind of purging from my collection just to kind of make a little bit of extra lovely room. So let's just get into it. But first of all, I want to show you one update that I've made in the first closet from part one. I spoke a lot about the fact I wanted to change my hangers. Well, I bought some hangers and I also said in that video, I wouldn't buy wooden hangers because not everything would fit. Well, I couldn't find anything else that looked super lovely and classy that would work. So this is what we have. This is the update to this closet. All white wooden hangers. And it does look so much better, doesn't it? It does look lovely and neat and tidy now. But yes, everything is a little more, a little tighter in here. I don't think too detrimentally tight though. I mean, these would, these would, oh no, actually let me look. This is a bit of movement in here. So I don't think we're at the point of crushing items or creasing items, luckily. I did have to remove my cardigan collection from here and I have moved that now into here. But yes, that's just one little update. I will link the hangers down below if you are looking for some. They were really quite reasonable. And now the same thing in here. Again, much, much better. And I, like I say, I just moved my cardigans into here. I've only got five of the cardigans plus the sixth one was in here anyway. And there's still lots of room. Again, my blazers aren't crushed up in here. You know, they still have lots of room to hang side by side. So I am pleased to bits, to be honest, which means I have lots more hangers to go. So today we're going to be cleaning out, let me move this light, I've just got a bit of extra light in here just in case we need it. I'm going to be clearing out these two and this one, these three. The idea really with these is that, uh, <laughs> oh gosh, the idea is that this is short dresses and short play suits. This one is midi dresses, longer skirts and longer yeah, almost like midi dresses, more casual dresses, shirt dresses and skirts. There are also a number of more like lux luxury skirts down there. And then this one is my super long maxi dresses that need a little bit extra space. In the last video you'll have also seen me clearing up my knitwear, so this is much better now. But there are still lots of dresses in here that I haven't worn for a long time, so I'm going to have a really good go at this now. I reckon we start... Here. I've got a number of things here that need that need a new place, so I'll put those there a little second. Again, you'll have seen this in my last video, this little knitwear collection just up that's better. This knitwear collection up here has all been nicely and neatly tied up again, and these are just like extra roll necks. That is one tip by the way, guys. For so long I put my like heavy knits like this onto hangers. I realised just how much it was deshaping, reshaping, unshaping, god no, badly shaping my knitwear. So if you have space just to fold your knitwear, please um, definitely do so. It's just so much better. Right, so like I said, this is small, like this has gotten to the point where I can't really get anything else in here. It's just a bit too much. So um, again, like the last video, I'm going to continue being really quite brutal. I was very brutal in the last video. I really did purge a lot more than I even anticipated I would. But I'll be honest, it's made me feel so much lighter and just, I just, I'm really excited about my clothing again because I've cleared out the other things that I wasn't as keen on and just, it's shown me all the wonderful things I own. Yeah, I think there's a good thing about really clearing back and making some room. Let's kick off, shall we? A Dolce & Gabbana dress. This is actually so pretty. I would really like to try and wear this much more this coming spring. So I'm going to keep this. By the way, this time as I go along, I will be changing to new hangers as I go, which is quite nice. Zimmerman, the best dress. 
this is going nowhere. My entire Zimmerman collection. I'll be honest, I'll be surprised if I get rid of any of my Zimmerman collection during this clear out. I am just the biggest fan of every single piece of Zimmerman that I have ever bought. I'm just gonna, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take out some bits before I keep on this. Uh, I'm gonna take, uh, I'm just gonna like remove the middle section for a second because otherwise I have zero room here. Do you know, I absolutely love this play suit. It's the prettiest little Alice McCall play suit. I remember I wore this on this, uh, this fantastic Laura Mercier press trip that I went on. Um, this is a really classic, beautiful play suit. I'm not getting rid of it. It's genuinely one that you could just keep wearing and wearing because it's just so, there's not too much going on that makes it unwearable. You know what I mean? Like not much pattern, not much print. It's just a classic year on year. Now, however, this one, I have had this probably for about six years now. I remember I bought it in Paris with a good friend of mine. But again, I, I genuinely haven't worn this now for a number of years. Oh, but look at it now, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Do you know what, I'm gonna take it out and if I think about it later and I'm, and I'm still thinking about it, then maybe it says it all. Oh wait, I've just put it on a new hanger. I've just put it on a new hanger without even thinking about it. No, 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 that's not the point. Did you see that? I feel like that was my, my subconscious going, no, keep the dress, keep the dress. This is beautiful. This is from Never Fully Dressed. Um, I remember I wore this in Dubai about a year and a half ago. No, it wasn't, two years ago. But no, I am gonna give this one up. I don't wear animal print all that much. So that's not quite my vibe anymore. A Rebecca Valance little play suit. Again, it's super pretty and I've worn it a number of times but I must admit I don't think it's quite me anymore it doesn't excite me I have two dresses on the same thing right here and I love them both actually one is this little self-portrait off-shoulder number in velvet um it's just a really gorgeous gorgeous little party dress that you never know I might end up wearing at some point again a little black Gucci dress that I haven't worn since. I'm going to put this on my Vestia collective profile in case you weren't here for the first video. Any more luxury items like this I sell on my Vestia collective profile as in the fro if you want to have a peek. That'll be going on there. This is an absolute beaut. This is a Proenza Schooler dress that I got a number of years ago in New York for the Proenza Schooler show. Ooh, I don't know. I just don't know if it's just me anymore. I, this is a really fab knitted dress that again, I've had for years. I wore, again, I remember wearing this in, I wore this in New York for Fashion Week one year, but I haven't worn it in a while. In honesty, in honesty, I think I forgot I had this dress. It's just a really great blue knit with some buttons down one side. And this was only a Vila dress. Vila, so really like fast fashion vibes. So the fact I still have it is quite amazing. I must obviously love this style, which I do. I do love this style. Um, I'm gonna keep it for now. Really classic self-portrait white dress number. Again, it feels very classic. And the type of thing you can wear over and over. So that'll be a keeper for now. What I wanna do is see how much I have left after I've done this and if everything fits in because I'm not overflowing. I don't need that much stuff that it has to overflow. Now then, I also started putting a number of, a number of tops and things in here. Yeah, so what, what I've started doing is putting little blouses in this cupboard. Started putting blouses that are a bit more elevated um, and the kind of thing I would reach for if I've got more an event. This is the kind of cupboard that I go to if I have an event that I need a dress for or something else. So that's why I started putting beautiful little things like this in this cupboard so I'd know they were here rather than putting them in my blouses cupboard which is more day wear. So I've almost split my cupboards by day wear and like well that's that's a nice broken hanger like me and Alex were talking about in the last vlog. Uh, and again some gorgeous little blouses right here too. So I'm just gonna make some room for these. I've got this stunning absolutely I'm so glad I got this this little awesome iris blouse off like off shoulder so like Victoriana, it's cute. And then a little self-portrait black bustier vibe number. Um, and again, I feel that this will come in more handy 
towards the summer months. I feel it's better to clear out your more wintry things in winter because you know if you want to wear them or not. And your more summery things in summer when you actually have the weather to wear them. So for now, I don't want to be too hasty here. And another Zimmerman. And one of my favourite things I've bought from Zimmerman. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I just love the shapes. It is so flattering, like elegant woman shapes. I've got my, this is the top that I wore with my Pronovius wedding suit it's stunning and that is going nowhere just realized it had a pin in it god knows where that's come from i never noticed that before <laughs> okay again i don't buy that much h&m but this dress i was in love with last spring summer so much so that i bought it twice this like linen blend summer dress just really basic but just so like light and airy and easy to wear this little beauty i haven't even had the chance to wear yet this is quite new from tory birch it's quite out there with the print and as you'll see i don't really have much else in this kind of color but i'm determined to wear this for something really special soon because it's absolutely gorgeous one of my favorite small dresses my bellman black mini amazing dress again i get asked so much about this dress i wore this for a few different reels over christmas it's this little needle and thread they no longer do this one i've had a lot of people asking me about it um but yeah it's needle and thread hopefully they bring out something similar in the future because it is so pretty so much so that there's no way i'm getting rid of it because it is just such a great one then i have the h&m dress that i bought in like lemon print very cute but um i think i was just in a very fun frame of mind last summer where i just needed a bit of fun in my wardrobe due to the lockdown um, whereas now i'm not really feeling that vibe this dress though is unreal really little slinky mini copper number it is stunning it's so sexy little h&m bodycon do you know actually i wore this a lot I remember I went out on a night out in this um, and a few other things. I think now, I'm not that bothered about keeping it though at this point, I must admit. Self-portrait play suit is a dream. I need to start putting this into sections, like they're dresses, these are tops, there's a play suit. This is an absolute beauty of a dress. This is a Costa Relos dress um, and it's, it's absolutely dunning this lace work again it's just really quite an elevated dress like a little black dress with a twist right self-portrait used to love this to bits but don't love it for my style anymore unfortunately i've had that for a number of years so i'm worn it a lot white rebecca balance number this is very similar to that proenza schooler but potentially a little more flattering for me Ooh, I don't know. This is a beauty. I've worn this a number of times. You may have seen this in quite a lot of Instagrams. Alice McCall. It's the most gorgeous, like little like baby doll dress with all this ruffles and the most beautiful blue tone. It's like a lilac blue. Um, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this for the sake of any trips, like holiday trips, if that ever happens soon. Um, but it is the most wonderful dress for wearing when you're on like a little vacation, I must admit. Love, love, love this dress. I wore this in summer in Italy. It's like Baroque print pattern. Oh, it's stunning. I'll link this if I can try and find it. A little Victoria Beckham dress that I bought years ago, back when I started moving my channel into a more, like I started buying more luxury. Because believe it or not, at the time when I did that, there weren't that many like channels that were very much about like premium fashion and luxury fashion and how to wear it and that just wasn't really as much of a thing on youtube i just really wanted to start buying more quality high quality brands and the brands that i really aspired to and i got to a point where i was, I was earning more money i was owning my own business and i could actually start to afford for the first time these brands i really really wanted so i started moving my channel much more into the kind of luxury sector and i remember that was one of the first dresses that i actually bought around that time and i just absolutely loved it but yeah i just haven't worn it in some time really Do you know i'd love to know if any of you guys are still here 
from when I first started blogging to now, because obviously I've had lots of different changes. I had purple hair, went to white hair, I started going to fashion week. Doing a lot more of fashion in that sort of higher fashion sense, um, a bit more of a professional way, I suppose. And of course, like my style has changed a lot over the years from much more high street and quite far out and quite bright and brash into much more kind of classic. I mean, but saying that though, I grew up a lot as well. I grew up eight by eight years. So obviously I'm gonna grow into my 30 year old, 31 year old self. But yeah, it'd be cool to know if you're still here from those times. Oh, well the pride and joy is in my closet. I'm so glad Gucci still sell this place soon. I'll link it down below for you if you, if you like it. It comes with a big Gucci belt through the middle which I have in my, my belt section. I'm obsessed with this. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's such a um, like going on safari vibe. Um, I, I wore this on the way to my wedding as well actually. I really really adore it. Oh that's so pretty. This little Roxander dress. How beautiful is that? It's so pretty with this Peter Pan collar. Um, again, I don't think I've worn that in about four years, so that's gonna go on my vestiaire. It's really quite special being a Roxander, but if I'm not wearing it, I'm not wearing it. And there'll be someone out there who loves Roxander who will wear that. This will be great actually for spring summer, this little self-portrait mini dress. It looks quite large here for my size, but it really rushy, roof what's the word? It really ruches in and pulls really taut and tight and um, just gives a really flattering silhouette overall. So at least I'd like to try and wear that for summer. So it's getting full now. It's getting really full. I've got a couple more things down here. Let's see. That I think is going to be a no. Again, gorgeous little self-portrait number. I... I mean, I'm still a massive fan of self-portrait, but I would go mad on self-portrait dresses a few years ago. So this is probably about four years ago now that I got this, but I haven't worn it since. And it's not quite my style now, so that's cool. I'll put it onto my vestiaire. I think one of the last pieces is the classic, the classic self-portrait blue dress. I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to keep it because it is a really fantastic spring summer dress. I think Susie, Hello October, she wore the pink version of this to my wedding and she looked stunning in it. So that can go in there. See, I mean, there's still a little bit of room for everything in there. It's not really crammed in, but look how much neater does that look? Oh, I love it. Let me just double check here. Let me double check. I've got a couple of more slinky little dresses. Maybe I could just fit these in. There's two here that I like day wear. Day wear vibe. Oh, I've got a... Um, this, I've had this folded because I didn't have any hangers left, but this is a Holland Cooper black knit dress. This says super classic ones with the padded shoulders. Really easy to wear. Get that hung up then. I've also got this little red number as well. This gorgeous red slinky dress that I really do love wearing. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the next closet first before I'm too hasty here on a few things because I might be able to put some of these longer items into that one and then make space that way. I mean, I would much rather hang up everything than do what I just suggested, but let's see where we got up to here. Right, let's do this. I'm gonna take some out to start with. Out in the middle. Oh, that's something I should have bought. Some of these in white, I didn't even think about it. Darn it, that's annoying. Okay, I might just have to put them over. Yeah, this is a lovely self-portrait, like camel coloured skirt, but I feel it's one that I could wear a lot. So for now, I'm going to keep hold of it. However, this little self-portrait number, I'm not gonna keep, just because I've got so many others that I love even more so than this. And I feel like this one is a little bit, a little bit more over the top than I'd like. This is a really stunning little set from Rebe Rebecca Valance that I am not going to give up yet. It's too lovely. It's this little polka dot number. Now this is a little Jonathan Simkai skirt number. Again, I've had it for years and I used to absolutely go mad for this skirt. But I think at this point, I've worn it quite often and it's just not quite my style now after having it for years. However, this I do love still. Again, a lovely one for spring. Now I can remember it's here. I'm definitely gonna try and wear this more for spring. But like little gorgeous like bralettes and things. So gorgeous and silky reformation. 
Okay, now this is a shirt dress that I got from Joseph years ago um, and I no longer love it the way I used to. So I'm going to, I'm gonna send that to someone else. Still love this Ganny dress, still love it. It's a really long shirt dress and it's fabulous. This is a little Rixo dress. It's beaut, but the kind of whole like, it's almost a bit like space meets psychedelic flowers. I think I'm gonna give that one up, therefore. By the way, I'm keeping all, the, all these other white hangers I had before that got a slight bend in them. I'm keeping these for my coats. So I'm gonna make use. And I've already asked a friend of mine, one of my best mates, Laura. She's having all of these from me. I'm just gonna send her a big box of them. So she's got them. So it's kind of nice. I'm not getting rid of things. This is such a gorgeous, super bright mustard coloured dress. And I only really had one or two times to wear this. So I'm gonna keep it another season and just try and hopefully wear it a little bit more because it is absolutely gorgeous. Little black easy knit dress. That is a great one for like an everyday. My, one of my beloved Zimmermans. Halter neck, very bright pink, very like holiday going away style it's amazing but i just don't think i'm gonna wear that unfortunately this little set again from tori birch i didn't have time to wear last season so i definitely want to give this some more time that is for sure oh love this dress tori birch dress just in white with this gorgeous belt that goes through it it's a really wonderful shirt dress Okay, hey, another self-portrait number, this little red, this little red babe here. I'm gonna keep it, I think, because I've not got anything else really in this colorway. Love. Okay, we're starting on my jumpsuits now, which is one of my favorite collections in my collection of clothes. This fantastic full length, like boss jumpsuit. Absolutely adore this. This is from Eero. Ooh, what is that hanger? <laughs> Horrible hangers. Beautiful white summer dress right here. Do you know, now I'm seeing this one, now I'm thinking maybe I might give up the other self-portrait, smaller white dress. Rixo, I still love this dress. It is a great dress for the kind of Christmas season. And I put, even pulled it out this Christmas. And then a brand new, brand new Zimmerman. If you've watched a recent I don't know if it's even up yet. It may be up. If it is up, I'll leave it linked on the screen. It's from a new trend pieces video that I have filmed. So hopefully you've seen that. If not, um, I really, really love that video. But it's from there. It's a really lovely knit, long knit dress. But again, I feel this needs to go with the other knit dresses because it's a bit of a theme. And if I'm feeling a knit dress for the day, this is the area I will reach for. So they should all really be together so I know what I'm looking at. Yes, also the Victoria Beckham dress that I bought recently with the cut out holes. Love, love, love. So they can sit together. These two join them and this other little knit number. They're all very day wear, knit appropriate vibes. Um, my gorgeous skirt, my beautiful skirt. Oh, I'll put it on my other ones. For that reason, actually, I don't think jumpsuits go in here. Jumpsuits go in here. Daywear dress, evening dress, daywear dress. My birthday dress in the orange. I'm going to try and wear that again this summer. Get another use out of this beauty. That colour, though. That colour, oh, divine. That can go in my evening section. Little girlfriend, this is a girlfriend jumpsuit. So cool, I just don't think. It's not something I wanna reach for as much. However, I do have this one, which I love more. Shorter sleeved, wider leg. I keep this one. Another jumpsuit, little black me and M. Really easy to wear, gorgeous jumpsuit. This is actually the Balmain H&M collection. It came out years ago. And do you know what? I haven't worn it in all that time. So I'm finally gonna give it up. Zimmerman! <laughs> Another Zimmerman. No, actually, I'm gonna leave this in here because I feel like it's the kind of thing I'd reach for for this sort of day wear occasion. Even though it is a jumpsuit, it feels more of a dress style to me. Are you filming? Yeah. Great. I'm just do my wardrobe clear out. It's even longer than the last one, probably at this point. Got a lot. What I've you got up to? I've got the little one. What? I've got the little one. Good. 
I'd hope so. Thanks, babe. I am. I'm going to keep this one. A little Reese. Like a halter neck jumpsuit number. But when it's ironed, it is beautiful like a big belt. Okay, well, that looks great now. Right, there's a good amount in there. Like it's full, but it's not absolutely bursting at the seams. And then just literally just down here on the floor in here, I have six of my like luxury skirts. Just so I have them like out of my collection so I can see them like Fendi white denim skirt, beautiful little Gucci skirt number, a Balmain white tweed. I've got the matching blazer to go with that. And then this cute little Holland Cooper hand tooth number. So I just keep those down here. It's at the very bottom of the... But that looks really great now. And then up there is just my, I've got my v-neck jumpers. <sighs> right guys, I had a little moment there where I wanted just to clean up because it was just crazy in here. So let me just quickly show you. <laughs> I have tidied up everything here. So this box here is gonna be um, everything that I'm putting onto vestiaire or selling. Like I said, let me know if there's anything you did want. And then in this box, I've got all of my hangers neatly ready to send to my friend Laura. So this is much better. This is literally covered in heaps of clothes a second ago. So I'm feeling much better about this. Anyway, last, last but not least is my big, beautiful dresses that are like much more event, gala, big ball, things kind of dresses so let's go three floor i'm inclined to keep this because it is an amazing like absolutely gorgeous holiday date night dress piece this is a paloma blue again it's a it's a holiday piece really this one beautiful caftan wearing like around the pool so what i'm gonna do is oh wait I was going to say I'm going to put it into my holiday drawer, but then it'll get crumpled and I don't want that. I'm going to keep it hung up for now because it is amazing to take away on trips to wear like around the pool. This is the exact same as that one I showed you earlier, the place, um, the play suit, the mini version. This is the exact same material, same brand, Alice McCall, but this is in the long maxi version. And again, it's an amazing holiday piece. I'm holding on to this hope for holiday, everyone. Now this is a yet another Zimmerman and it is absolutely stunning but you know what I really need to get this taken up probably an inch or so. I really need to get myself a tailor I think. However it is the most stunning dress I think what I'm going to do I'm going to keep that on my mind to get someone to tailor this for me. Um, I just need an inch off it. So we've got a lot of holiday dresses here so far and no holidays to go on. Bode well. Now this I might put into, oh no it's really long actually. I'd love this though. This is a Mara Hoffman knit dress number now. I wonder if this would, yeah do you know what I might try and get it in the other closet. Because again this is the kind of thing I'd wear if I was wanting a knit to wear. And it's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous with this. Pull it in at the waistband. I mean, look how stunning that is, it's so classy, elegant woman. I've also had a bit of a shift around by the way in here guys, I've had a really good shift around. I've moved the skirts out of here into the other one, I moved a couple of dresses out of there into here. So now I have dresses that are all of a certain length and then I've got like more knitted pieces that are longer and need to drape. So this is far better now. Next one is, oh, I mean it is gorgeous So this white dress from me and em polka dot and it has these gorgeous little bees on it it's the most beautifully made thing i mean all of me and em's items really are um and it comes down to this beautiful long maxi really beautiful piece but i feel like it's not me anymore unfortunately i think i wore this actually for the fashion week i think a couple of seasons ago it's really strange isn't it that even just a pattern like a polka dot i'm not really feeling polka dots right now and that style of dress, I don't know, it's, oh my gosh, my Jenny Packham dress. And I had this altered very, very kindly. I had it altered by a very special team of tailors. I don't think I should really mention who they were because they didn't really want to be seen as doing this because it's a comp competitive brand. And they didn't want it to be anyone to take offence. So that's fair enough. So I won't mention it, but I did have it tailored. It was so long, and again, it was tra traipsing on the floor. And I wore this to Amphar. I was a guest of L'Oreal's to Amphar, and it was me and Marcus Butler, and we had such a lovely time. But at one point, Marcus had to literally help carry my dress because it was too much. So I had it cut 
into a ballerina length just at the ankle and now it is superb <laughs> it is stunning i don't think i can get rid of this because i think it's just too beautiful and i would love to wear it once more this is another self-portrait honestly my self-portrait obsession goes very very far yeah it's, it's a self-portrait it's a black beautiful self-portrait yeah it's too classic it's too classic not to keep it's too easy to wear if i need a black dress and you always need a black dress at some point for some sort of occasion Another self-portrait, again I wore this to Cannes. I wore it to Cannes with L'Oreal again, it's absolutely stunning now, I can't get, give that up. Oh, this is also so beautiful, needle and thread black dress. I did, I did wear this to the uh, British Fashion Awards. I think actually I might give this one up, maybe this time, because it's, it's got a lot going on. I'm not too sure. Oh, this is Pronovius and it's a lacy black gown. It's so, so special. It's super duper special. The kind of thing that is amazing just to have in for if you are literally going to a black tie event. So that's a keeper. Oh my God, honestly, do I, do I ever stop? Self portrait again, beautiful blue teal number. Now this is extremely special. This is the Jean-Baptiste Valley dress for H&M last season. It is unreal. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, perfect if you're going for like a big, if you're going somewhere and you like a big, big gown. I'm kind of inclined to want to keep this just in case I do have a big event that I need. No, no I'm not. I'm gonna give this up. I'm sad to say, I'm gonna give it up because I just don't think I'm gonna have an event like for this in a, in a little while. I mean, it'd be perfect for like a wedding or something like that, but again, I've got nothing like that coming up. Or a prom, it would be unreal. Ooh, another Pronovius number, this gorgeous long pink dress, which is rather fabulous. I'm gonna keep it for now. Again, it's just a little bit too special too. Right, this little number, I wore this for my, my book launch, little twin set dress. Um, I'm gonna give this up, I think, as gorgeous as it is. I, I just don't feel like it's quite as me now. I'm making some good progress here. Two jumpsuits, these are both from AQAQ, I think. Wow, that is so dirty. However, this one, I got this years ago. I've had this for so long. This is a Hugo Boss like red jumpsuit. We've even still got the hanger for it. I kept it that long. This red jumpsuit. Now looking at it, I'm like, this is just so mega. Why have I not worn this more since? No, do you know what? No, I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to keep it because I love it. Like looking back at it now, I'm like, that in summer, just sitting out, friends, looks so fab. I'm not giving it up. Self-portrait jumpsuit. So fabulous, this one. Oh, wait, I think it's self-portrait. Yeah, self-portrait. It is such an amazing jumpsuit. I'm not ready to give that up yet because I think it's just too special. This little jumpsuit is also very, very cute. I don't think this was very expensive, this. No, this is a French connection. I'm sure I got this on ASOS. And it's just like a little bustier inside and black jumpsuit down below. I think I might give that this one up though because I haven't, haven't worn it. I'm so happy to say we're almost there now guys. Um, oh yes, I remember this. Red jumpsuit, red high neck jumpsuit that I got from Reese. That is so fab. But you know, it's almost the exact same colour though. It's this one. So let's maybe choose between this one. What I'm going to do is, in a minute, I'm going to try them both on and see which I like most. <laughs> Pronovius, the most amazing Pronovius jumpsuit that they completely tailored up for me. It's super duper cool. One of my favorite things that I own, this David Coma jumpsuit. I've worn it a number of times and every time I wear it on my Instagram, everyone lo really, really loves it. It's such a stunning jumpsuit. Jumpsuit, 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 jumpsuit. I've also got this is an amazing holiday dress piece from Self Portrait. This gorgeous print that they brought out. I think just because of the colours on this, I didn't didn't think they really suited me. So I think I think on this occasion I will give this one up. Honestly, I didn't realise how much self-portrait I've got. I'm so obviously so obsessed with that brand. I didn't even realise. 
And I think the last one. This is completely inside out and upside down. This is the most beautiful three floor jumpsuit that I've had for years. I remember doing a, a gorgeous photo shoot in the Lanesborough Hotel in this. And I'm so proud of those pictures for the vlog, for the vlog. Um, flamboyant is this, but it just looks so amazing. I must admit, I reckon I might sell it, you know, as much as I love it. I just haven't worn it in so long. So, that's really cleared out some dresses that I don't really wear now, which is so fabulous. I'm gonna move a couple in here. I'm gonna move these four into here because they feel a bit more this sort of occasion dresses. Perfect. Ta-da! Right, done. I am done with that, guys. So apart from just trying on the red jumpsuits, just to check which ones I love the most, that is my closet clear out in terms of all of my dresses. <laughs> Can't believe how long this has taken. I haven't even gotten around to doing my shorts, skirts, and jeans. Um, but I think I'm gonna wear, I think I'm gonna leave it here because otherwise it's just absolute, absolutely loads. And I know this video is gonna be super long as it is. <laughs> so yes, thank you so much for watching this one, guys. Like I said, if you haven't seen part one already, make sure you go watch that. If you wanna see what tops and blouses and shirts I, I own, as well as all the blazers in my collection and all the knitwear in my collection. This was all the dresses, play suits and jumpsuits and ball gowns. So hopefully you found it somewhat interesting. For any of you guys who love organisation, I'm sure you probably quite enjoyed this. It's quite, um, it's quite a nice feeling just to clear out things. So I hope you did enjoy it and I, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in my next one. Bye.